Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, you're one only, and today I'm going to be doing the first impressions on Final Fantasy, A Realm Reborn. So, this is the free trial that I'm doing. I, I just don't do membership. Membership games are just, like, something that just makes me go from their general direction. Like, I used to play a lot of Wizard 101 back in, but, you know, after I figured out how much money it just took it just started to die off for me. So membership games, I never actually touched. I'm happy that they gave a free trial to this. It's like a 14 day free trial, I believe, for maybe 30, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna be probably checking out the game for like 28 minutes for you guys, or probably less, or probably more, who knows. But we're gonna get into it and see what they have to offer. All right, that was actually pretty awesome. Hello there. But, eh, I wasn't like a huge fan of Final Fantasy. No, I, probably my favorite one was probably Advanced Tactics on Game Boy, which was probably like the funnest thing for me. All right, let's look at their races. They have humans and look like elves and some dwarves and some cat people and a giant. Now, I'm pretty sure it's the Final Fantasy fans just cringed as I explained that, but that's literally what they all look like. But I'm gonna choose the human, why not? We can choose a clan, Highlanders or Midlanders. I'll go Highlanders. All right, so our character creation has Height, muscle tone. Uh, let's move this around somewhere. You see how much more ripped he is, or yeah, there's just a lot of muscle detail right there. <laughs> really? <laughs> but you can change his color. Okay, bro, you're gonna have to stop that. <laughs> he has several different hairstyles, I believe. Okay. Our character is way too excited. Let's just keep him standing. Oh, I actually like that hair. All right. So as you guys can see, we have a lot of hairs to choose from. I'm not going to go through them all because you guys can use your free trial to actually look at these. I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, she changed your um, hair color too. Make it a dark black. You can actually change your faces as well. If you want it scarred or something. You can actually change your jaws. They have different types, that is. I'm not gonna try and spend too much time on the character creation. I'm just gonna randomly select through. Pretty much show you guys everything you can do. You have your eye color, I'm gonna go with green. You have your eyebrow type. You have your noses. Your mouth, lip color, facial features. Oh god, I think you do need the mustache bro. You have tattoos as well. But it only looks like you have certain tattoos you can actually put on. You got face paint. So you actually just put on something. And you have face paint colors over here. Actually change their voices as well. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's voices, dude. All of them are screaming and yelling. Oh, 
I'm just gonna go with that one. Yeah, so we're done with our character creation. Jeez, that was a trip. Oh, we got save files too. Hi. Let's just go with that. All right, so we get the pick our character's birth date. Um, well. I don't understand this at all. Oh, we're just gonna go with that one. Why not? I'm pretty sure I did that right. Let's just go forward. Our deity? Um... Okay. I think I'm gonna go with the destruction. Why not? We have Gladiator. Wait. Oh, he has little things on his bag. Is this like a brawler? Yeah, this is a brawler. Pretty much hand to hand combat. Marauder. Lancer. Who has the spear. Or the actual lance. You have Archer. And on our magic, you have Conjurer. Which you would think would probably be the like, person who like, summons like creatures to fight with you, but sometimes it turns out that it's actually healing. Because it's talking about like the woods and everything. Power of uh, force and all that. So it would probably be healing. Now, I'm pretty sure this is like the space and time wizard. Yeah. Force of Destruction. So I guess that's like your normal mage. And Alchemist is pretty much your potion user, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna go with... Um... I'm gonna go with a Brawler. Why not? Oh my, my character's floating in midair. Hear what? All the voices in my head? Hear. Feel. Oh, wow. That escalated quickly. That went from 0 to 100 real quick. Hear, feel, think. Oh my. Oh, hold up, are we fighting? Ah. Alright, yeah, this is a brawler class, because the claws are normally, like, brawler material. Never was a big fan of the, like, actual claws. I was more of a fan of, like, the gauntlets that they were. That mustache. Yeah, I would love to hear some more voice voice acting. Sadly, they didn't. Hmm.
Oh, I almost took that guy out. Oh, jeez, look at those guys. <laughs> Oh, well, he died. So all this talking and cinematics probably like take up 20 to 30 minutes of starting up the game. You don't actually get to do anything until then. Yep, we are here. There's sort of some really adorable twins you got there, but can I go on my adventure now? Bye bye, sir. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Ah. <laughs> no more lines for me? Alright. I gotta say, is the intro to it is beautiful like magnificent but takes forever to get through especially for those eager to play right now i'm pretty much in like 21 minutes into the um, game and the cinematics took up most of that so that's why i was skipping through it and you know getting a little bit further into the game but we're gonna skip and keep skipping until we actually get to our actual fighting. But it looks like we're actually in game now. I am a keyboard and mouse. Ah, uh, you can actually open that. Nope, I'm good. Up. Oh. oh, that's weird. Okay, if you right click, you can move to each direction. If you left click, you can't. That's weird. Well, not really weird. Standard MMO, but was not prepared for that. Now we're talking to more people. All right, NPC is good. So our next location is here, which we can't auto walk or anything to. Actually, I have to go to it. You can't even click on your map, I believe. This map is just here to tell you where to go. Oh, and doors automatically open for me. Doesn't seem like I ran into many players just yet. Adventurers Guild. Hmm. Like beautiful detail in the cities and everything. Especially the characters. Right, hold up, can I dance too? Look how she walks, what? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Warriors of Light. Can I be a warrior of light? Our character really doesn't say much of anything. You can tell the um, NPCs are probably going to have a lot of life to them. Maybe. Oh, that's a dude. <laughs> I thought that was a female at first, but it's hair. Rip. You want me to beat him up? I will. So it looks like we're actually seeing players now. So it's probably just like some tutorial thing we have to do. Then we could see other players. As of now, our goal is to get up here. Am I going the right way? No, I am not. It is all the way down here. So it seems like we found our save stone. Pretty much where we just and like push a home button and just return to it 
probably just this skill right here, return. All right, now we gotta go find our guild. Alright, guys, we are back after hours and hours of delivery quests and all kinds of other random quests. Now, I'm gonna actually go and go fight something. It took me long enough. It seems the main quest is everything fighting. I did not know that, so... Yeah, that's what exactly what we're gonna do now. And see how the fighting system is. Jeez, I've literally been going around for like a whole hour now. It's like there's so many side quests that you can't even tell the difference between any symbols when you first start. But now I can honestly tell the difference. I'm going to be fighting these guys. So I got two skills here. True Strike and Boot Shine. Oh my. Alright, seems like pretty easy, straightforward combat. They're gonna keep giving me these. Alright, I already know about those. There's just standard MMO things to know about. Alright, so now we're gonna fight a little bit more of these guys. But it does look like it's more of a action MMO style. We can move around. It does seem like they take their turn, their turns fighting, but it just that uh, you're a lot faster than them in that way. I gotta say, moving around and fighting is actually pretty nice and normal. And it looks like they have little reticles to tell you where they're going to be attacking and what they're aiming for. They have like a little arrow that curves over to my character. That's pretty much just them telling me that they're going to strike like that. There's another one. So I'm guaranteeing that they have bigger bosses and like to, well, yeah, some giant bosses for us to fight. But now we're gonna kill one more of these. And now we're gonna fight this guy. Seems like there's a little bit of server lag. Not a whole lot of it. There's just a delay in our death a little. And a delay in getting your quest done. Where would that be? Are these it? It's around here somewhere. We will find it. But it doesn't seem like there's bosses or anything around. But there's some events that go on in this game, it seems. Oh, there they are. That's aggro both of you guys. Doesn't seem like I have any skills that can attack multiple things at once. Seems like this guy is only capable of focusing down one of them. And I gotta say, their global cooldown is like really large. Jeez. So they have global cooldown for each skill you um, use. 
If you guys don't know what global cooldown is, it's pretty much when you use one skill and the rest of the skills are unavailable. So, as you can see, everything is available to me, but boom. See, it cools down this as well. So I can't use this right away. And it also did the same thing right here. So now I'm going to go back to the guild and turn in my quest. Alright guys, there's a giant tortoise over here. I know we're pretty low level, but we're going to mess this thing up. Why not? Uh, we got another person over here fighting with us. Come on, man. We can do this. Let's beat him up. <laughs> Just both of us. He's trying to hit one of us, but he can't. <laughs> well, he's trying to hit me mostly because I'm doing more damage. Uh, do I have medicine? Okay, you you actually have to... Do I actually have to right-click it? Wait a minute. There's no way I have to right-click that. Rip. Well, we tried to find a, fight a giant turtle. It didn't work out because apparently that you have to right click a potion and actually have to push use if it's in your bag. Okay, well, anywho, we made it back and we're gonna go and turn in our quest. Hey, it's no first impression unless I at least die once, okay? I mean, I died in Riders of Icarus, so. Hey, why not this one? Alright, old man, we got your quest. Yes, I'm strong until I fought that giant turtle, then it it all went downhill from there. I'm pretty sure that other guy just died too. Unless he cleaned up house with something I couldn't do, so rip that. So if I was to give Final Fantasy like a rating, it would probably be like an 8 out of 10 because it has a lot to offer. You can interact with a lot of things. You have guild houses, you have housing, you can actually interact with a lot of furniture inside the game too, and they have a lot of character interactions and a lot of emotes and they actually have some really good clothes customization that I've seen on people. I've even seen necklaces. Yeah, jewelry and necklaces change. Necklaces. Ah. Apparently I can't say that word today. But, yeah. You guys really should try out this game. It is free. Uh, which one do I want? I want the eye patch. So you can tell the developers put in a lot of work into this game. And let's see if this actually puts on an eye patch. It's somewhere in here. Somewhere. Oh, I don't think I could actually put it on. I can push try on and it actually shows. Oh god. I don't want to show that, but apparently I have to. Alright, there we go. We can actually put on an eye patch. I have a lot of um, costumes and everything for you guys to actually try out. So it's going to be really fun and unique. But like I said, this game is not for me because I'm not into the whole membership thing. So, yeah. Other people might be into it. I know other people might be willing to spend the money for it. So you guys can actually try it out yourselves. But we're going to end this off with a dungeon run. That's how we're going to end this. So let's go until we get to a dungeon. It's been a while, so Show yeah. Yourself. We finally got back to some voice acting. It's been a while. I've just been sitting here boringly trying to get to my next quest. <laughs> well, to a dungeon at least. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. 
I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. Oh my. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. And I'd prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. Well then. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. I wish there was more vo voice acting like this. You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lily. What the hell is that? Oh my. Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. Oh, well then. I mean, that's reasonable. Well, we didn't make it to a dungeon, but I can say that this game is extremely fun. It has some interesting features to it, but I gotta say, I've been playing for like two hours now. And this definitely has like an appeal to it. So if you guys like Final Fantasy and willing to cough up the cash, this is definitely a game for you guys to actually play. So. It's a little bit difficult when you first start off. It doesn't give you a whole lot to work with, but I recommend you guys like watch some other videos on it or let's see, ask the players around because there are a lot of players on this on this um, game. So there's probably a lot of people who are willing to help you guys out. This game is definitely something to try out. You guys still have the free trial. Remember that, oh, okay, where did you guys come from? Oh, okay, I stay close to you to get, keep getting healed. So, yeah. At first, I didn't even see my level. It was just down here being so small. Normally, you would see your level and it would be a little bit larger. But apparently, not this time. So, after traveling around for like two minutes, it finally got up to here. And this guy is literally piling and piling minions that are going to kill me soon. We have to kill this guy, please, for the love of God. What the? I was about to say. Did I just take out the lessers? Keep healing me, bro. Thank you. All right, those are dead. Let's finish these guys off. I'm not going to try and look into some other games I could try and get into or do some first impressions on. You guys know I haven't really gotten into a lot of things to do in first in, do my, all my first impressions on. Ooh, a crystal. That's, and it has a pretty interesting story. But I do love that this game has some like nostalgic Kingdom Heart music. Oh dear God.
crystal bearer. All right, let me just go ahead and disappear my face. So after this cinematic, we'll probably end it here. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. I'm just wondering, can I fly like up? Oh, yep, I can. I'm a rocket ship. Oh Jesus, it looks like we're all rocket ships right now. Coming around now. All right, looks like we can interact once again. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm, if I only knew. A denizen of the void, at any rate. The void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? Uh, no, there's just some weird trippy stuff. I was talking to a crystal, bro. I see some things, things you wouldn't even believe. No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Oh, then. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must... Yeah, I you go ahead and report Lira it. ...in your capable hands. What? Why do you... Why, why do you do this to me? You pass me about like a swaddled babe. I shall return and tell them myself. <laughs> How they walk As is so funny. Wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Until then. Nah, I won't. I will sleep all day. Bye. As soon as you're gone, I'm sleeping anyway, so... <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Alright, guys. So... Pretty much done here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
And like I said, you guys could really try this out. Just try it for yourselves. You guys might be surprised of how interested it is. I will say this, it was weird trying to make a count for this. So what I pretty much did was register my account, then restarted the launcher, then put in my password and login. And I just pretty much got in after I created that. It's a little bit really confusing, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find a guide on it. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time on the next first impression or revisit. Peace out.